Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Johanna. For those of you who are new here, welcome. For those of you who are returning, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I've set up March 2021 in my Happy Planner Skinny Classic Happy Nietzsche Junk Bullet Journal. Uh-huh say that three times fast and if that is of interest to you please stay tuned okay so uh, i wanted to show you this because it corresponds into what i'm doing for march of course i always um put the timestamps in the description box in the pinned comment if you just want to skip to the setup part. But this is tracing paper that I had gotten from work. Now, one of our uh, offices in my division was closing and so uh, various components of like furniture and paper products and whatnot was just divvied up between various other departments in the division. And so we got a ton of paper. This is tracing paper. I'm not sure why that office had it, but um, I normally would not bring office products from the office home. But this was sitting in the trash. It was an entire ream of this paper. I don't even know if it's all in the frame, but I think it's like 18 by 14. It's really big paper and it's, you can see my shadow it's it's vellum it's beautiful paper and so I'm like whoa 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 you're gonna just throw that away I'm like yeah we, we can't use it well, can, I mean, can I take it and I'm like sure I'm like no like seriously can I like take it off campus can I is it like we're gonna throw it away yes yes you can take it and so I have been using this you've probably seen some of it in my coloring books because this is what I do. I cut it down and then I put it in between pages and that's a great use for this. But if you cut them down to eight and a half by 11, one, it's a very slow process because they're slippery. So you have to do one at a time and then on your cutting board or your cutting thing, it's not a cutting board. It's Sunday the 28th. My words are just gone. But it slips so you have to be very careful when you're cutting it but if you get an eight and a half by 11 um i did a tester and you can actually put this in your printer and print on it so what i've done is that now these are those coloring pages that i had shown you last month but then i also did some like that now i'm not going to be using these floral ones for this month but isn't that cool. Now I have found the best thing to do if you're going to be printing on vellum and again do a tester page uh, because your printer may or may not like printing on vellum is that find coloring pages because it's going to just be the line art and then a white background so that when it prints it only prints the black line art and then as you can see right there, and I'll show you in just a second, uh, at least on the paper that I have, I can color on it with my Tombows or with my mild liners, and it doesn't, it doesn't bleed. It doesn't, it's not like it's sitting on top of the paper. It dries and then you're good to go. So I wanted to show you guys that because for this month, it is quite different from previous months. And so if I flip to March, You can already see quite the difference. Now, uh, this video where I did the after the pen for February is already up just the way that I have it planned in my head. And I said that by some of the colors, it ties into this. Well, this would be hard not to tie in with something because it pretty much has all the colors. But what I did was I just printed out that page like I showed you just a second ago. I cut it down to four and a fourth four and an eighth by nine and a quarter. Um, and then I punched it. Now, if you are going to be punching tracing paper or vellum, I would recommend that you first put just a regular piece of copy paper. And then I was able in my Happy Planner Punch to stack 
two of these on top of each other and then punch. And I think having the uh, copy paper underneath just helps it cut a lot cleaner. I didn't want to try it without putting a piece of copy or paper underneath, so you may want to test that out. And so as you can see here, and it's easier to see on the desk, what I would do is I would stick this in, put down the vellum, again stacked by two, so there was three sheets, and then I would punch, and then I would cut that strip off, and then I would punch again, because I actually punched uh, it assembly style so that I could just get it all out of the way so I don't have to keep taking out my Happy Planner punch. And then at the last one, I'm like, well, I don't need to cut that because I can just turn the paper over and then I punched again. Now, you do want to make sure that you are fully inserted into your punch because if you can see at the top there, the top of this was not fully inserted and so the umbrella is actually a little bit lower than the others, which is fine. Now, the entire inspiration for March is based on these stickers here. So uh, these are some stickers that my friend Andy had sent me. Uh, she had purchased this printable, yeah, she printed it on paper, so it's a printable from Let's Paper Up. I'll go ahead and link the shop below. And so because of this, they are, if you can see it, a kawaii style fruit so it's just doodles with faces and so i wanted to make this a really colorful month and a really kawaii type of month where it's just really cutesy and this was the absolute inspiration for all of it so once i knew yep that's what i want to do for the month then i sort of worked backwards now I have lots of colorful stickers. You guys know Happy Planner is in love with colorful stickers, but not necessarily kawaii style. And that's why I look specifically for coloring pages in that style. And this is my cover page. For this month, I decided to just do everything off camera and then show you guys. I did use my circle stencil for this. And then the pens that I used were my mild liners and my Tombows. But I also used these, the Tombow Twin Tone. I had show you guys this, I think, briefly in the beginning of the year, because I got um, a set of these, I think it's 12, uh, for Christmas from my brother. And so I decided to use some of these. And the pen itself, so the, the felt tip pen, it's like a mild liner. It works, it colors in quite quickly, but I am quite enamored of the fine tip pen. And so for the journaling for this month, I'm going to be using these. In fact, I'm really gonna challenge myself for the month of March not to use any black in here with the exception of a couple of places. The first one would be here on the tab just to keep this consistent with the other months. And then I'll show you the second place in just a minute. My word of the month uh, for March is change. And the definition of that, it is a verb and it means make someone or something different or alter, modify, or it means replace something with something else. And it also is a noun, the act or instance of making or becoming different. And I chose that as my word of the month because I've become quite comfortable with the way that I have been doing things. So this is going to be quite different for me by the way of coloring, but as we get into how I've set up um, the monthly trackers as well as the first week, also by the way that I'm approaching this month. So I thought that was appropriate. These are just Tombows and then I used this pen this Zebra Sarasa. If you can see, there's multiple colors in there and they're kind of metallic, so you don't know actually what kind of color you get out at any given time, but my brother had purchased this for me. So I'm like, well, I mean, we're doing a rainbow theme. Let's, let's kind of go with that. And it comes out really pretty. This is paper that I had cut down from a big Happy Planner Happy Note page. You can get two pages. And I don't normally like a colorful um, part by the discs, but again, it fits perfectly for this month. This is a sticker that I had purchased from 
April's shop Sticky Mo. I will link it below. And I have both white and a craft paper calendar. And so I love that it just uh, gives me all of the ease of having a monthly calendar without ha actually having to write it write it down and then I was going through my stash to get this sticker because I keep them in a plastic bag on the cupboard that's right in front of me and I found these now I know it sounds strange that I found stickers in my stash I remember ordering them I could not tell you when but they sort of fit the theme for me not so much that it's food based but it's very kawaii if i can find this i link it below as well but that's what some of these things are here and i just love how bright this is you guys know i'm i'm usually into the browns and the creams and yeah no this is absolutely rainbow bright month for me I did do some Tombow down below. It does look like a bit of a hot mess right there. And this is going to be for the section of my buddy read with Andy. Again, I don't know if she wants to continue to do the buddy read. I had mentioned that in the last video, but I think it just, I think it looks so fun to me. Here is where I'm gonna to continue to do the thought of the day. And the way that I was able to achieve this look right here is this sticker, sheet right here these are transparent so it was hard figuring out where to put the writing so that when I put the sticker on top I could have it in it but I figured it out and I just you don't even know how fun this uh, looks to me I just it is completely different I mean <laughs> completely different from what I've done but I think it's fun and I am looking forward to coming into here. And really for me, that's usually the biggest hurdle. And these are going to be my thoughts into March. I'll probably do that after work uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow is March 1st. And then these are gonna be my thoughts leaving March, just either thoughts on how I'm feeling, emotionally, physically, all of that. And then we go right into the weekly. Now, because you can color, this again this was done with tombos and mild liners and those twin tone pens i probably will be doing that on a weekly basis because it's using markers and not coloring pencils although i'm sure coloring pencils would work it actually goes by really quickly now if you are looking for pages to print um the two pages uh websites that i went to was just color and there was another one justcolor.com I had little tabs and coloringhome.com and I really just wanted to look for stuff that had food on it to kind of tie in to those now what I did do is I cut it down you guys know when I pretend to be a Korean vlogger I only want to pretend for my breakfast and for my lunch uh, I don't film what I'm eating when there's people around and I'm generally eating dinner with my family and so that's just a non-starter for me I'm not gonna do it <laughs> and so I did cut the strips down but I'm not gonna throw these away uh, I think I'm going to cut this as well and then I'll just use this as little tabs or little strips that I can use here at my planner and then even for this this is going to look different than in previous months where I was using a classic sheet where the day gets a lot more space and so I've got my meals there and then this is going to include my daily horoscope as well as my daily journaling now I did mess up here because because I don't fill my food on the weekends I should not have put some stickers down but I didn't think about that until I was putting the dates down I'm like oh yeah I didn't want to do that and that also gives me a space down here but instead of like February where I did my horoscope for the month, I think I will do just a horoscope for the week because this I can fill out at the beginning of the week. And then as I go throughout my day, then I can fill out my daily horoscope here. And I just do the Cliff Notes version. I read it and usually either do the abridged, okay, this is what I think it says to me, or just whatever the last two sentences are because usually that kind of sums up <laughs> what it's talking about and then that gives me a little bit of journaling these 
pens here are that fine tip of the twin tones again it's going to be very colorful this month and i am looking forward to that i will not be doing any collaging in here and i'm going to test it out for this month and i might switch it out from month to month i don't know i'll see how i feel but i do want to work on some of my other creative journals and so this just gives me a really quick and yet fun place to warehouse my thoughts and my daily horoscope and then if i'm feeling in the mood to collage i can either do one of those master collage boards that i did a video on or i can just work in my junk journal or my other journals and so i can get that uh, itch taken care of that doesn't necessarily have to be in here i do love how it looks in here but again i wanted to test it out hence why that i thought was an appropriate word for the month I know that I usually do process videos with you guys and we set up these pages together, but this morning I just felt like playing and playing and talking through the play is quite difficult for me sometimes. And so I just, yeah, I'm hoping it's okay. I mean, it's too late now if it's not, <laughs> but I just, you don't even know how happy this makes me just to look at it. I didn't think I'd like it. To be honest, I didn't think I, because I loved the little stickers, but I thought, oh, it's going to look too kiddish. But honestly, I don't think it does. At least it doesn't to me. It's super bright. Absolutely. Amen. But it doesn't look, it doesn't look kiddish to me. And I mean, I guess there's nothing wrong with that. It's just... You know, you, you don't go from a month like this, which to me is quite elegant, to plot out. <laughs> you just, I don't know. It seems weird, and yet for me, it doesn't seem weird at all. I'd love to know what you guys think of the month of March. And as always, aloha.